What's up everyone, R Willie here, AKA Ryan Williams, and I'm down at the Vault Pro Scooter Store, about to do a custom build, so let's get into picking some parts. Obviously, first up, we know we're gonna use the R Willie deck. Of course, you knew this. We got the R Willie bars, but now we're gonna mix it up. I think I'm gonna mix it up with some uh, different parts. Start with the grips. Leave that there. You may know that I always use Ethic Grips, so how am I gonna go past Ethic Grips when I clearly love them? And then what's next? I need a pair of forks. I've been sh shown some tilt forks. I didn't even know th these existed. And uh, I'm gonna be riding 30 mil wheels, so I need uh, a wider fork. Shout out to Tilt, rider owned. Can't go wrong. These bad boys look good. All right, deck, bars, grips, forks. Need a head set, headset. Shout out to The Vault, make their own headsets. See how it goes. What now? Uh, wheels. Oh, grip tape. Shout out to Friendly, Australian crew, street riders. I consider myself just like an all-terrain rider, so sometimes I hit the streets, so let's go with some Friendly grip tape. And then next up, we got the wheels. Shout out to Root, they're always sending me wheels because they're like the lightest wheels I've ever ridden. Oh, here we go. Beautiful, beautiful latest wheels. Is this the one right here? Rigid, Rigid SES Black by Tilt. This is the first time I ever seen this was just before. So I seen it in the store and I'm like, what is going on here? I'll show you this weird thing about it. You're probably gonna get a close up of it later, but I was like, what is going on? What kind of forks do I have to run? But supposedly it saves weight. So I'm not gonna say no to saving weight. I can't wait to see this thing together. Standard black ODI, let's go. Aluminium bar ends, nice and light. So it doesn't look that good right now, but I think once it's together, she'll look pretty neat. Time to head over to the studio, get this thing built. All right, we're here in the studio. Got all the parts laid out right in front of me here. Unfortunately, I just heard I had to grip tape this scooter up, so I'm not that stoked about that, but I will do it for the video. But first up, let's just jump into it by putting the headset on the forks and then the forks on the scooter. Maybe I should put the wheel on the front the front first. Yeah, let's do that. I'm gonna put the wheel on real quick, the front wheel. Everyone's gonna watch this and be like, you're doing it all backwards. The hardest thing about putting these Lotus wheels on is that you have to put the spacer and the be the, the wheel on at the same time. Otherwise you can't, you can't like do it. Oh yeah, you can, my bad. What am I talking about? Maybe the other way around. No, you can do it. Why did I think that? I don't know why. Just thinking out loud right now, guys. All right, there's one. It's probably the quickest I've ever done this. Have you ever, do you, has anyone set a record for like doing it the fastest? Cause I bet you if I, I really tried, I could do it. I could set the record for sure. Not like for the, just for the pros like that have tried it, not like the dudes that work here, because they could probably do it quicker. I could, I could compete. I'm pretty competitive too. We've got that sorted. Looks beautiful. And I've realized that I want to probably grip tape the deck before I do anything else, because that is like the worst job when building a scooter. And kids, you got to take off your brake when you're doing this, because if I see you with grip tape from here to here, I'm not going to be happy, even though that's how my scooter comes out of the box. Whoops. Go get yourself some grip tape and make it fully length the full length because you'll be stoked. And your feet won't slip off when you're standing up here for some reason. Do you got scissors? Scissors? How else do you cut the front? Like a man. <laughs> oh, with a thing, with a razor. Wait, how do you do it then? Is there a better way? Come in here. Thinks you can put it on grip tape without. You're gonna lay the grip pair. Like that? On. Yeah. And you're gonna cut it along the head tube and lay it on here and then cut around the welt. Nah, man. Nah, man. Do you want me to show you how to do it? Listen. Watch this. I gripped a lot of ducks. Yeah, good on you. Ryan Williams decided it was a better way. Just watch this, all right? All There's a line there. There's one there. And we need our cross line. We'll go up a bit just in case, because we can always fiddle around. Go about here. I feel rushed right now, but I'm still going to charge. Oh, these lines on the grip tape aren't making it easy for me to cut straight lines either. This better be straight. Probably won't be there. Look at that. That's actually good. Yeah, and that was way quicker than your... I'm smashing your time, dude. I don't know what your best time is, but... I just smashed it, dude. Do you ever like watch someone do it wrong and you're like, oh no. All right, here we go, this is it. I got a good feeling about this one. You know what, it's gonna have to do. That's good. I can't believe I have to grip tape this scooter. Do I even get to keep it? No. All right. I'm stealing those forks. I'm stealing those for tilt forks. Oh, tilt, send me some, thanks. Love you. You're gonna tell me I'm doing this wrong too. I usually get an Allen key and I'm like, until it's like grinded off and then I get a razor blade and it just goes, that's exactly what we do here. Yes! <laughs> it's tripping me out now and thinking that like, there's actually, there could be actually pros that no, don't know how to do this. It's kind of funny to me. The most satisfying moment of all, if it starts going, come on you. Damn it. Oh no, there we go. Beautiful. All right, you want me to show you something? A little thing I do for the break. You filming, brother? Rex your Stanley knife, but I usually just go to about to there, on the side. About there. Now I'm in business. Hello, brake hole. 
The brake is on. I'm feeling a bit iffy about this script, eh? Hey, but we'll keep going. Might look better once the other parts are on. Oh, it doesn't even look like I got, I got bolts under there, man. Now, we got our fork, we got our headset. Do you need a race? No, you don't, because we're in business. Top bearing, voila. Do you reckon if I didn't run that, it'd look nicer? Yeah, so that looks really nice. Holy moly, this looks good. That looks beautiful. And we've got a decent amount of fork in there, so that's good. Will the bolt reach? That is the question. Yes, it does. Oh yeah, and I got my fork backwards. Because <laughs> you know who I am, I'm Willy, and I always run my forks backwards. And if you don't know why, it's for foot jams, because foot jams are my life. And uh, it actually feels really strange if I have my forks forwards. So that's the reason why my forks are backwards. And I can ride with no hands whenever I like, including after I land a trick, I can just be like, yo, I did it. Even at nitro, imagine going down the nitro ramp, no hands on, that'd be beautiful. All right, we're gonna get the uh, back wheel on now, and we're gonna hope we got our axles. Yes, we do. We're gonna pick our little shield. Yo, heads up, if you got an R wheelie deck and you're like, oh, it's heavy. Well then just take these out, because they're actually decent size weight. That'll bend, but that's why these, I have these, but if you want it as light as you can, then just take these out, because then it's light. Trust me, I did it on my light scoot. This could be the hard one, I think. Oh, yeah, that's this good. is the hard one, that's see? Yeah, 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 this is hard one. So this is what I was talking about before. If you put this on, it's like, you can't do it. Damn it, what's going on? So you have to like, somehow I'm really good at it. I think it's because I've practiced, but I gotta like hold it at the same time as we're going on. Now I can lay it down and then she slides in like that. Yep. And then we switch sides to this side, grab the spacer and we slowly, there we go. Ta-da! And the best thing about these things is that you don't need uh, a shifter or whatever you call it to tighten it up because it's got these slots in here and the, the nut gets held. And then look at this. It's tightening itself just with one six mil Allen key. Voila! And if you're like me, you like it real taut. Like that, yeah! Now we're halfway there. Well, more than halfway actually. Nah, let's put the grips on. We'll put the grips on the handlebars first and get this all sorted and then we'll put it together. I've never done this before. No, I need deodorant. You know what you do? Actually, you get antiperspirant. So you know, like the deodorant that stops you from sweating and you put it on there because it stays slippery for like maybe five minutes and you can like slide it on and then it dries it all up. And Or you can just use an air compressor. Forgot, I forgot these eight year olds had an air compressor. Their dads do. Yeah, I don't have an air compressor, dude. So if I don't have one, then maybe they don't either. I do. He has an air compressor. Oh, everyone's got air. What do you mean? Everyone's got an air compressor just Candy. What if I'm at the local skate park and I don't have an air compressor already? How do you do this? Like that? What are you talking about? Like this? Like that, you gotta pull it out. What are you talking about? You don't... Yeah! Take that, Cody Flom! And... Yeah, it's got, it. got it done, sweet. Go! Ouch! <laughs> Actually hit myself pretty hard. Oh, I think my left ball was forward more than the other one, so I hit it real nice. Ouch. Okay, bar ends. So I didn't even know I could get bar ends. Thank you, the Vault Pro Scooters, for showing me these ODI bar ends, which I'm gonna steal after this because they fit and I need bar ends so I don't friggin' impale myself. That's what you call it. Oh, look at that. Isn't she lovely? Isn't she wonderful? Sweet. Demonetized. Oh yeah, true. Especially with that singing, they're like, they're gonna think that was the actual song playing just then. The vocals of Ryan Williams. Why are your forks backwards? Alrighty. That'll do. Alrighty, here we are, the finished product. Looking absolutely beautiful. Really stoked on how this looks. One thing that surprised me, how much I liked were the tilt forks. Shout out to the vault for opening my eyes to this. I actually really like the way they look and the clamp is really nice. So I might have to switch to this clamp, I'm thinking. Because right now, I'm wanting to just take this scooter and uh, keep it for myself. But uh, that's gonna be it for this custom build. I hope you enjoyed it. Shout out to the vault for bringing me along and letting me build this monster. And uh, shout out to Nitro Circus for sponsoring me and uh, making this all possible. Obviously this deck here. Uh, if you like the look of it, make sure you go down and uh, get yourself one and make sure you go follow my Instagram if you haven't already. If you're here and you haven't followed my Instagram, it's Willy Official. Or you can search on YouTube, search R Willie, Ryan Williams, and uh, you'll be able to find me on YouTube because I make videos all the time. But make sure you give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe, and uh, be ready for the next one.
Thanks for watching.